In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add and edit hair, press X to delete the cube, add mesh monkey and change shading to smooth, drag to make the properties window wider, click the material button, click the new material button, call the new material brown, change the diffuse color, change the red 2.2, the green 2.05 and the blue to zero. Click the particles button, click the new button, change the type from emitter to hair, set the hair length to two and set the number of hairs to zero. Change the view to the top view Zoom in with the mouse wheel, change the mode to particle edit. For speed, I'm going to turn X mirror on. Select the add brush and add hairs. Click to add the hairs. Continue to add hairs. In the top view, I'm going to concentrate on this section of the scalp. Each hair that we add will become a clump of hairs so we can add them quite sparsely. Jumping ahead I have most probably added too many hairs but at any time you can add and cut hairs. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and these two hairs are too far forwards so change the brush to a cut brush to delete them. Change the view to the right view and carry on adding hairs. In the right view, I'm going to do this section of the scalp. I have jumped ahead again. Change the view to the back view. Before I do the back, I need to add more hairs to this area. Change the view to the back view and carry on adding hairs. Jumping ahead again, just a few more hairs and we have finished. Change the view to the front view and zoom back with the mouse wheel. Change the brush to cut and we can trim the hair. Because we have X mirror on, we only need to do one half. Keep rotating the head, go to the right view and trim away. When I come round to the left view, I can tidy this up. And the back view. And the left view. And back to the front and I think that will do. Change the view to the right view, change the brush to the comb and with the comb on full strength I'm going to quickly take the hair down and then I'm going to puff it back up. 
Before I puff up the hair, I'm going to thicken it by giving the hair strands children. In the children panel, click simple. In the options panel, tick children. Change the brush to the puff up brush and change its strength to 0.5 and puff up the hair. And by using a mixture of puff up and comb, get the hair how you like it. Change the mode to object mode. To change the colour of the hair, click the material button, click the add new material slot button, click the new material button and call the new material green. Click the diffuse colour and set the green full on and the red and the blue full off. Click the particles button and in the render panel change the material to green. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.